Hi, welcome to Spice of Your Blog. Okay, so in this video we're going to look at uh, the latest post on Spice of Your Blog, which is the Sticky Bar Widget, which is a, basically a, a bar that sits beside your posts with uh, buttons to, for people to bookmark those posts. And as the reader scrolls down the page, the bar moves down the page with them. So at any stage of reading your post, they can bookmark the post on their favorite social networks. Um, this was a hugely requested tutorial over the last few months because over the last few months I've had this widget on Spice of Your Blog, but I wanted to get a version that I would, knew would work on all templates and all blogs before I before I shared it. Um, so this is the post here. We're just going to click in so you can see the the, the widget in action. Um, so I wanted to drag over the camera a small bit. Uh, we can see it's loading up over here. And this is it here. So we end up with this bar, which has a tweet button, a Facebook like button, has a submit to stumble upon button, a Google Plus One button, a button for Pinterest. And I also added a an icon for your, your RSS feed as well, so people can subscribe to your feed at any time. And as we scroll down the page, you'll see that this widget just gently follows you down the page using jQuery. Okay, so as I say, this is quite an in-depth tutorial, and there's, there's quite a lot of steps. There's actually nine steps in total, so there's nine pieces of code that need to be added to your template. And if you're not used to um, editing your template, this can be quite daunting and can be quite hard, and mistakes can be made. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to basically add this widget to a test blog so you can see it being done and you can see how I'm doing it, and that will help you um, with any mistakes you might make along the way. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to add it to this test blog here, and we're going to have the bar over here at the end. So we have the dashboard here. This is test blog 987. So let's find that here when we go to the blogger dashboard. You can see test blog 987. And I'm going to start by clicking the drop down and going to template. And you'll see these steps here. You can follow the steps as we go along. Uh, see after the intro here, we have step one in your blogger dashboard. Choose template, edit HTML, and take the expand widget, expand widget templates box. So we're going to do that. We've already clicked template. We're going to click edit HTML. We have to click proceed first. And then up at the top here, we have the expand widget templates box. Okay, so I'm going to kind of rush through this, but you can you can kind of look at the video a few times if you need to. So we're going to go to the step two, which is to find this piece of code in your template. So we're going to copy this code. We're going to go back, and as I say in all my videos, you click control. Click and hold control and press F, you will get a search bar. Um, that search bar is down the bottom. So if I drag down here, I'm on Firefox here, and on some of the other browsers, it comes up to the top. But you'll see, once again, if I click Control F, you'll see that search bar pop up. And I'm going to paste in that code, and straight away, we jump to that section within the template. So that's the quickest way to find any section of code. So we have found this piece of code, and we have here copy and paste the following code directly below the code we just found. Okay, so we're going to grab this code. So we're going to select all of the code that we're given. Right down to the end, right click and copy, and we're going to go back and we're going to place it below this piece of code that we found. So let's make a bit of space below this and paste it in there. And that's the first part done. Okay, we're into step four. Find the following piece of code, which is this. Sorry, control C to copy. Once again, we're going to click control F to get our search bar, control V, and we will jump directly to that code. This time it says copy and paste this code directly above the closing skin tag, the tag that we've just found. So I want to copy this. I want to paste it directly above this. So let's make a little bit of space again and paste it in. And that's that part done. Step six, find the following piece of code, which is the closing head tags. So we want to copy this. Once again, control F, paste, find the code. There's the code. And we say, Copy and paste the code directly above the closing head tag, which is this. So we're going to copy it. You can see I highlighted a, a section of the code here, which is the, the actual jQuery code. And if you already have jQuery in your template, you don't add this section. And the reason being that if you put the jQuery script more than once in a template, it can interfere with different with different gadgets you may be using. So above the head tag, you would see if you had already added maybe a jQuery widget before, you'd see that that jQuery code is already added. I don't have it already added in this template, so I can go ahead and just paste that above the closing head tag as we were told. 
Okay, so that we're up to step seven. So step eight, find the following piece of code. Once again, we're looking for the closing head tag. Control F, Control V, we find it again. And this time we're pasting this code below the closing head tag. This is the piece of code to make sure your Facebook like button will work. So we're placing it below it. So we place that in there. And step 10, save your template. Okay, so we've all our pieces of code added and we're ready to save our template. So we're going to save our template. And once that's finished saving, we can cross our fingers, refresh our blog, and hopefully the sticky bar will be on our test blog. So we've saved our template. Now this only displays in posts. It doesn't display on your home page. So when somebody's on the home page, that won't be scrolling along beside them, but only in the post. But I'm in one of the posts here. So if I click F5, when the page refreshes, our sticky bar should be in place. And there it is. We let it load up. And as we scroll down, our sticky bar scrolls with us. And that's it. So that is the exact post you're looking at. So if you've had errors, as you can see, the code is working. So if you had, hadn't, have had an error, you've made a mistake somewhere along the lines, so just, um, I've, as I always tell you, make a backup of your template. Just throw back in the backup of your template or upload to that backup of your template and start again and follow the video. And you can watch the video a few times if you make mistakes just to make sure that you get it right. And when you get it right, your sticky bar will be in place. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have a link below the video to go to this tutorial on Spice Up Your Blog. And that's it. Enjoy your sticky bar widget. Thanks for watching the video.